Well, hello there. How y'all doing? Welcome back. Haven't seen y'all in a minute. Um, of course, hoodie. I instead of though, like me getting off of work and talking to y'all, this is me before work talking to y'all. Um, I dropped Sophie off at uh, my best friend's house. Um, they haven't really been with the, like seeing each other in a minute so um since eric was supposed to go to drill i had asked if she could babysit and she said yes but now eric isn't going so with i was like well i don't want to tell them no after like you know like i just told my daughter and my best friend that they were gonna get to hang out and see each other and you know kind of going back on that would have probably made me be the bad guy with Sophie and with my best friend so I went to Starbucks because I dropped her off and I guess I thought there was going to be way more traffic than there is so I got a Starbucks drink and I never go to Starbucks because I never know what to order because I don't think they're sweet enough so I got this it's like an iced caramel macchiato with extra caramel um, I just, I never know what to order because I'm, I'm that person that whenever I, um, if I go to Dunkin', so I'm a Dunkin' person because I can go to Dunkin' and I can just get a caramel iced coffee and it's perfect. It's, um, with cream and sugar, obviously, so it's perfect, but Starbucks, I never know what to order and then, like, it kind of just freaks me out a little, like, I... I don't know I think it's like the way that they have it set up and that everyone knows that like you know like it's kind of like more expensive so like kind of snobby people go there so like it just it's very intimidating <laughs> but my mother-in-law has caught me on to them basically because we've had two girls days like last weekend and then the weekend that just passed and we've gotten Starbucks each time and oh the Gouda um, sandwich, the what, the smoked Gouda um, bacon sandwich, got that because my mother-in-law let me try hers and it was amazing. So I'm gonna try it, but this is gonna be first taste. I got extra caramel. Yes, you know that's bad. It's like not sweet at all. <sighs> I'm so sad. That's so disappointing. I'm gonna try to fix it. Hold on. I'm back. Made a little bit of a mess. I'm trying to stir everything, but it's actually good. Um, with when you like stir the um, caramel with everything, it's actually really good. It's still a little bit too strong for me, but I'll be okay. And then... Yes! Perfect. This one's amazing. Bacon Gouda sandwich. Eh, sorry. I love it. That's amazing. Alright, well, I'm probably gonna watch some YouTube before work. So, see y'all later. <laughs> just went to a bridal show well like it's like a little expo convention thing in the cop gallery and it was so so nice um my friend actually was the one that told me about it and she was like i want to go you want to go with me and i was like sure and that's what we did but it was so nice so much information um 
as you guys know, me and Eric got engaged last year. I was basically trying to also plan a wedding before I left for my deployment. Turned out I got out of my deployment, didn't need to go on my deployment. So we kind of held off on doing the wedding because I was like, this is stressful. And we had already put like some down payments on a few things. So when COVID happened, I got out of my um, deployment and we were like, okay, well, COVID's gonna happen. Like they're not letting really a lot of people, people can't travel. My family's kind of from like a little bit all over the place. We also have a lot of like older people that we were gonna invite. So I was like, well, I don't wanna have a wedding and not really have everyone that I want there. So we, um, we decided to hold off on it. So right now we are just chilling. Um, we know we're gonna get married. We just don't really know what day or a, like we're saying 2023, um, it could be sooner or we just know that we don't wanna go past 2024 without already being married. So that's kind of like where we're at. Um, but my friend, she's planning on getting married next year. So I have, so she's like really like in the planning stage. I'm more in like the looking and like stuff like that, but got a lot of nice information. It was really fun. Um, it was just exhausting. I'm not such a social person. And then since I don't have a year picked out and I also look really young, I just felt like people don't take me seriously, but it was really good. It kind of got me out of my comfort zone. I haven't talked to so many people in like a long time so it was kind of like overwhelming um but yeah and got my little sticker i'm getting married got lots of cool stuff lots of like free little sample candies and stuff like that it was really cool but it's so exciting it kind of gets me back in like the the bridey spirit because um i definitely wasn't in the mood to go but i was like i mean it's something different i'll go with you but I don't know I, I guess I'm not like at that point where I'm just like wedding 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 but it was really cool really nice I'll probably show you guys everything that I got um, I'm kind of got me excited again I don't know um, but yeah I don't know it was pretty cool um, she's picking up her kids right now but um, probably gonna go home talk to Eric make him look at all this stuff too and tell him what they told me because they said that even if I, I do pick 2023 I need to start looking and booking venues now because people are everyone's like pushing their wedding back so everyone that had that was supposed to get married in 2020 pushed it to 21 and then 20 like they're like pushing it to so like everyone's like just shifting so everyone that wanted to get married in 21 pushed it to 22 and everyone that like so they said that 2022 is mostly booked as well. So I was like, okay, fine, cool. But yeah, um, so that's that. Um, I'm actually, I don't know, I'm excited. Kind of gets me in like the wedding bridey spirit again, which is, I, I think it's really cool. Um, just kind of wanted to update you guys. And I don't know, that's kind of all I got. This is, um, so today was like my mommy date. Uh, we also went yesterday but she got the dates wrong which was really funny so we made it to the place and everything and they were like are you a vendor and we were like no we're trying to attend it. and they're like oh that's tomorrow so we kind of wasted a couple like two hours just getting there and everything but we had fun it was cool um, I was kind of ready to go at the end I entered into all the sweepstakes so hopefully I won something um, I know I already won like $75 off of like a, what is it, $75 off of a, um, what is it, off of a choreography, so, yeah, but it's cool, it's fun, I'm excited, uh, probably going to get home and just give Eric it's like a really big bag it was so heavy carrying this thing oh I can't even pick it up right now oh 
but it's just full of stuff. And um, we got there, and I don't know if people thought that like we were getting married like together. So at first, people were just only giving her stuff, and I was like, "I'm getting married too," and they were like, "Oh, okay." I don't know if maybe they thought I was just like a bridesmaid or they just didn't expect both of us to be engaged. I don't know. It was really funny. But I'll talk to you guys later. Probably when I get home. I really want to go home and take a nap. So hopefully Sophie lets me take a nap. Yeah. But, bye. Hey guys, so just got home. Look at so look at her curls. Her curls are like really like getting so much better. But I have all the stuff from Yes, you are cute, Sophie. I have all the stuff Mommy. from... Mommy. Yes, baby. It's too tight. It's too tight? You want a t-shirt? Yeah. Um, okay. I'll go get you a t-shirt. Yes. <laughs> okay, so just got home. Hold on. Hey, hold on. Sit down. So just got home mm -hmm. from doing mm -hmm. the Cobb Galleria thing with bridal shoot, all that. Um, bridal expo whatever it's called and i have so much stuff i'm gonna explain it all to eric everything that i got so this should be yeah. interesting. also i have little cake cups for him to try and yeah. i'm just gonna basically go through everything that they gave me because if i had to go through it so does he did you hear me babe so i said if i have to go it through it so do you just in a shorter, less walking and tiresome and overwhelming way. Let me see. Can I bring? I want mommy. I did like it. It was fine. Oh, the smell. Bless you. All right. I'll see you guys when I'm done so that you guys can kind of see his reaction.